There's the leak. Field piece. Now we're going to put the new DTEC 3 in the same spot. Nothing. That's on super large. Nothing. Medium. Nothing. Nothing. There it is. Nothing. I'm going to be getting rid of this thing. Service call number two with the leak detectors. In the red. That's a major leak. No, not that fast. No, it's leaking. Now, detect three. Nothing. One more time. A major leak. Who told you that? It actually, or it might have been the way I moved it. Let's start over. Yeah, see, I moved it too fast. Now it's just being stupid. Yeah, any any time you have to add Freon, you have a leak. Nothing. It picks up nothing. Oh. A little bit, but not like the field piece. Very, very, very disappointed in this product.
button. It's so hard to turn this thing on and off. One more time. Look at that. zeroes itself out. What's going on YouTube? Well, the first thing I want to do is just apologize that I haven't been uploading videos much. I've been really busy, uh, but hopefully I can get the camera back out soon. But that's not what this video is about. You just saw the two clips of the Inficon DTEC 3 League Detector. Now, I'm an H10 guy. I've had that field piece for a long time. And it's been a great league detector. And I like to keep a, uh, that, uh, that style with the wand in case I need to reach, you know. Because that's the downfall of the H10. It comes with, you know, the little probe on the cord. And sometimes you can't reach far back. So I said, I'll just keep the field piece, you know, for that. And because the field piece has been great. Uh, it's never done me wrong. And it's the field piece SRL8. And I was going to buy an H10. Well, I decided not to because I kept hearing great things about this DTEC 3 from Inficon. Well, you could see that it is a horrible leak detector. And I hate, and you know, I hate to cut, to get on here and say stuff like that. But Inficon needs to see this and know what's going on. And I paid really good money for that league detector, like H10 price, okay? I bought it from my local supply house. Uh, I like to, you know, buy from them. And uh, I paid really good money for this league detector. And the first two times I go to use it, nothing. I mean, you saw the proof is in the video. When I got it, I read the instructions, and they even had a QR code in the uh, case. I scanned it with my iPhone here, and it had two YouTube videos on it. I read everything that was that popped up when I scanned that QR code, and I watched the two videos that came with it. I tried both modes. Uh, I tried different uh, sensitivities. And it wouldn't pick up those leaks. Both those service calls just happened to be mobile homes. Now, I did run it on a Goodman system in a regular house uh, the day before th these two clips. So now I'm kind of worried that I need to go back over and it didn't hit off. So I, I called it good. But now I'm thinking I need to call the customer and tell him what happened and what's going on with my leak detector and possibly go back over there with the field piece. So uh, I'm going to be purchasing the H10 uh, probably today. I'll go ahead and get it off True Tech Tools. Unfortunately, around here, there's only one supply house that stocks the H10, and they their price is just ridiculous on it. So I'll probably be getting on True Tech Tools later today, purchasing the H10. So I want to say this to Inficon. You know, I reached out to Inficon uh, a while back for possible sponsorship and on the channel and like testing the Stratus when it came out and I think when the DTEC 3 came out. Uh, the individual that I spoke to on Facebook Messenger, that's usually how I contact these guys. I think it's the best way. I don't know if it was a man or a woman, but they were very rude. Um, you know, look, if you don't want to sponsor, I understand, but it doesn't hurt to ask. Uh, they were just really rude and kind of just, you know, shoved me to the side. And then they started ignoring me because, you know, when they told me they didn't want to sponsor, I, I left that alone. But I, and then I think after that, I asked to test a couple products. And, you know, you could tell when somebody reads your message on Facebook Messenger, then they just started ignoring me. And even though they did that, I still bought their product. Because I had heard that it was a hell of a leak detector. So, Inficon, my email address will be at the end of this video on my outro. 
And I'll even give you my phone number because I don't care because my phone number is public on the Internet anyway because I'm in business for myself. And I'll even put it on the screen here. It is 337-281-1835. You know, this, I've had the TechMate, and it did really well. But the TechMate, the sensor does not last long. So I'm not going to use the Tech, I don't use the TechMate anymore. And I had the original D-Tech at one time, and it did really well. And uh, I actually gave it away to somebody, I believe, that needed a leak detector, and I just gave it to them. It was great. So, Infocon, you know, bef- with all that being said, you know, did, is it possible that I hit a lemon? Um, and another thing about that leak detector is the buttons on the side. I mean, that power button is ridiculous. To, to turn that detector on and off. I, I really think y'all could have done a much better job with this leak detector. But I will be purchasing the H10. It's, you know, it's going to be my go-to. And if I need to reach, I'll I'll just go get the field piece. But, uh, you know, Inficon, uh, I, I, really, I know y'all are going to see this video. And I really hope that y'all reach out to me. And uh, I would love to hear what y'all have to say. Because I was really excited about the product. I like it. I like the way it feels in my hand. Uh, well, I mean, there I, there's things I like and things I don't. But I like the way it feels in you know in the hand. It's it looks like a well built product, and uh, the power button is horrible. I mean, y'all could have done a much better job with the power button. Y'all could have put like you know, the mode button, and then the sensitivity button is nice and round. Y'all should have put that kind of button for a power button. Y'all go and stick this little bitty old power button on there. And I mean, you got to push it hard to turn it on and off. I think, uh, I don't know, maybe y'all release that product too fast. But I do think that, uh, and I think that you guys out there that are buying these products need to know stuff like this, you know. So right now, I don't recommend the Detect 3. And I don't recommend that anybody buy it. Um, Is it possible that I hit a lemon? Very possible. I believe NorCal Dave had an issue with his. And Inficon reached out to him and uh, sent him the old one back. Or no, Dave sent the old one back and they sent him a new one. So before I go return it to the supply house and get my money back, I am going to hold on to the detector just in case Inficon does reach out to me. If Inficon doesn't reach out to me, that's really cu- uh, shitty customer service. And um, I will let you guys know about that if they don't reach out. And then I will highly recommend that you stay away from their products. But I, I know NorCal Dave had an issue. And now I've had one with the same leak detector. So uh, stay tuned, guys. But for right now, I would stay away from the uh, DTEC 3. So let's see how what, what's going to happen with this. And, we'll, and uh, we'll update you guys when we get an answer. And I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank you for the continued support. And um, there'll be new field videos coming soon. So, But uh, stay tuned for, to see what, what happens, uh, to what, what's going to happen with this uh, DTEC 3. Um, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.